Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimia. If this is my first time meeting you, thank you so much for joining me today. I have, I think, 10 favorites to share with you. So if you guys wanna see what those items are, then keep watching this video. Okay, I wanna start off with beauty and skincare. My first favorite is this Victoria Beckham Lip Liner. I've wanted Victoria Beckham products since she launched her makeup line. Um, everything is so beautiful, but since I moved to Canada, I actually haven't been able to access any Victoria Beckham. So so I was placing an order on net -a and I was like, let me just throw this in there because you're gonna have to pay that $22 DHL Express shipping anyway. <laughs> so I got this lip liner that I've always wanted. This is in the shade two and it is a beautiful nude. I love this shade. It goes on like a dream. And honestly, I wanna try a bunch more colors, <laughs> but this is absolutely a favorite for this month. My next favorite is this Ole Henriksen Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. I love this scrub. It's so nice and gentle. After using this, my face feels so soft and so clean, and it's the perfect base for applying my moisturizer after. I can use this day or night. I love the smell. It literally smells like Ugh, it smells like um, like a lemon tart or like a lemon meringue and I straight up just want to eat it. It has alpha hydroxy acid, which helps exfoliate this, the face, but it does make your face a little sensitive. So if you are going to use the scrub, I would recommend trying it like once a week and then moving up to more than that. So My last beauty favorite is this Laneige Radiant C Cream. It's supposed to brighten, even tone, and moisturize, and it literally does all those things. This feels so good on the skin. I love this as a day moisturizer. It truly looks so good. My face is straight up poreless after I use this. And I love this in combination with this. I've used these two together. I also really love this under makeup. I'm wearing it today. My face doesn't feel greasy. It feels really light. It feels really dewy. I think this is targeted towards dark spots and I don't really have any dark spots, but I do have some discoloration. Um, and whenever I use this, my face just looks really cohesive and bright all over. So this is great because it really gives me the hydration I really need for winter, but it looks so smooth and like matte, but the right amount of, of shine in the right places. <laughs> I don't know. So my next favorite are these chunky rain boots that are kind of dirty from Zara. They look so huge, like this is bigger than my head. I didn't have rain boots before and I live somewhere that rains all the time. I love that they're chunky, they're very practical, and I just think that they look cool under like long coats. I feel very um, like ready to go, ready to take on the town <laughs> and stomp around. I mean, they kind of look like Santa boots, but I'm also a big fan. I like that they're matte, it's kind of more like military inspired. Zara still has has this and they also have it in like a green. Um, I just went for like the black gray shade and I've worn them so much that's why they're so dirty and they're just such an easy shoe to throw on. I really only wear sneakers since quarantine happened but wearing these guys it's just like a nice break between my sneakers and like I don't want to stomp around in, in rain puddles in my, in my white sneakers. One thing to note though don't wear baby socks with them because I keep getting a blister in the exact same spot. My next favorite is this girl Friend Collective Grey workout set. I shared this in my haul not too long ago, but I have been loving wearing this. It feels so good to wear a nice quality matching set to work out. It kind of gets me excited to work out. And I'm not somebody who has a lot of workout wear just because it's something that I don't like to collect. Like it doesn't make me work out more if I just buy more workout sets. <laughs> if anything, I just run out of like drawer space. These are made out of, I think, plastic bottles or some kind of sustainable method went into making these, which is really nice and they feel really, really good. And in my opinion, I think you should just invest in a few um, workout pieces than buying a ton of bad quality workout pieces because it really makes a difference. Like I hate doing like squats or anything and just pants that you really feel on your skin that like trap in your sweat and you're super uncomfortable. But this is so wonderful and I got them both in a size small. I think I could have sized down in the bra just because sometimes when I'm jumping like Mary Kate and Ashley like pop out. Um, <laughs> but all in all, I love these and I have been wearing them, working out every single time um, to the point where I'm like, I, I gotta wash these. <laughs> you didn't hear that. All these fluffies are like in the air. 
Okay, my next favorite is this Anina Bing crew neck. I just love the color of this and how cozy it feels. I have just been wearing this every time I reach for a sweater, it has been this one. I think it is the color that makes me wear this just because it goes well with any bottom. I can wear this with this color blue, I can wear it with light blue, I can wear it with leather or really anything. And I just love the fit of it. It's so cozy, so comfortable, but so warm. And I just had to share this because it's pretty much the only sweater I've worn all month <laughs> since I got this. It's the only sweater I reach for. I just think it goes well in my wardrobe and it's a good piece to layer with. It's not too bulky under coats. Um, so gotta let you guys know that this is the only sweater I really wore. My jewelry favorite of the month has been this bracelet by Jennifer Fisher. I got this on sale from net a -Porte, and I actually had to take one of the links out because it was a little too big for my wrists, but I love it so much. I think it adds so much to the wrist. It's so beautiful. I love this like chunky, um, chain, which has been a trend for quite some time. I just never saw one that I liked too much. I've been really into bracelets. I kind of want to like grow my bracelet collection because I feel like it just adds a lot to your look and it's something that's so easy to throw on and really versatile. This is very light. I love the shade of gold and it goes really well with these Jennifer Fisher hoops. And um, this is gold plated brass, but mostly I got this for a really, really good deal. I got it for like 50% off and it made me really happy to grow my bracelet bracelet stack. <laughs> my favorite TV show of the month was the show Lupin. It was such a good show. It kept me on my toes. I loved the storyline and it was just like actually a good Netflix show. Some Netflix shows I'm like, really? <laughs> Did you have to make that? Um, but Lupin was really, really good. I loved it. And I can't wait for them to come out with more episodes. It's basically about this like famous thief and um, you guys will just, you should watch it. It's worth watching in my opinion. And it really kept me engaged the whole time. Like I lose attention when I'm watching something like half the time I'm like, okay, got to do something else. Okay. I'll paint my nails. I'll, I'll go on the computer while I'm watching a show. But Lupin, I was like, what's going to happen? What's he going to do now? <laughs> So that was definitely worth watching and it was my favorite show this month. And then my favorite book of the month, I actually bought this book two years ago, but I finally read it this year. Um, it is the book, The Art of Creative Thinking. The Art of Creative Thinking is written by Rod Junking. Junking? <laughs> Rod J <laughs> Okay, that is not his name. By Rod Junkins, who is the, um, he's a lecturer at the St. Martin's Central School of Art. It's about, how creativity is not a talent, but it's actually an art that can be mastered and learned. And I personally think everyone is creative. Um, it's just something you gotta learn and practice and do. And I think so many people lose their creative creativity as they get older. And this book really helps you kind of center back into what masters of creativity do, like Michelangelo, um, a bunch of other <laughs> creative masters that I can't think about right now. But the book is really easy to read. It just makes me feel good every time I open up a chapter and finish the chapter. I'm like, oh, you know, it kind of gets you out of your own head as a creative person. And I just think it's really worth the read if you do struggle with, not struggle with creativity, but just kind of want to figure out how to transform your business if you have a business or, um, just figure some things out. It's worth reading in my opinion. And I love that book this month. And my last and final favorites that I want to share with you is the habit tracker. So I have been tracking my habits for two months now and it's made a huge difference in my day and my life. I feel like I'm way more productive. There's so many things that I get to in my day because I've put it on my habit tracker and I highly recommend just printing it out and checking each item off because every time you check it off, I feel like it motivates you to actually do the rest of your habits that you set out. And I have a vlog where I show what I put on my habit tracker for the month of January. I can link that down below for you guys. Um, but basically just find a PDF online, print it, put down habits that you wanna incorporate in every day. Like for me, I have exercise 15 minutes, read 15 minutes, um, drink eight glasses of water, meditate, you know, just like different things that I personally want to bring in my day. It's free. It's something that I think will hold us accountable and keep us productive during this crazy time of life. Um, so I've really loved doing that. And I think that if you guys 
incorporate something like that in your days if you don't already, you can truly feel more in control during a time where I think we all kind of feel a little out of control. <laughs> that concludes this monthly February favorites. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It would really help me out. And if you guys have any favorites that you tried out this month or recently, comment it down below. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.